and welcome back to a, another hair tutorial here on my channel in this video i'm doing another crochet wig of course because i'm addicted to them like how can you not how can you not be addicted to these? So with so many different crochet styles of hair coming out, like the looks are literally endless when it comes to making crochet wigs. You can switch it up so easily and make these so easily, it's literally not funny. If you have not hopped on the wave of making your own crochet wig, I have no idea what you're waiting for. I'm pretty sure I have convinced you by now if you are a regular to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, <laughs> don't forget, I almost forgot. Hey sis and welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey bestie, how you doing? Hope you are being blessed and safe as always so we're gonna jump straight into the tutorial and i'm gonna let you know whether or not this is a goodbye and make or a goodbye don't bother let's get straight into it for my crochet cap i am going in with the featureless anti-slip lace crochet wig cap so it has this nice silicone band going around the perimeter so you don't have to worry about it slipping it also has combs to secure but I don't like using the combs so I am glad that they included this silicone going around the perimeter that thing will not budge once you put it on and then it has this nice lace part where you can adjust it to either be a middle part side part in my tutorial I did it using a middle part because I feel like that was the easiest for me to deal with and then for my hair i'm going in with these goddess braids that i received off of amazon So there is a method to my madness here. I finally figured out a way to better explain how I make my crochet wigs. So I first am going to start off by going around the perimeter and I try to do at least two finger widths apart from each other. And um, it kind of just depends on what kind of hair I'm working with. But I am for this style of hair, I'm doing two finger widths apart and I'm gonna go around the entire bottom perimeter. So we're gonna do that entire bottom and then once I come around to the lace I'm gonna go ahead and start crocheting right around the lace now around the lace part I do those one finger width apart because I don't want it to be too much of a big gap around the lace part because that part is going to be seen the most so I am going to like kind of zoom in for you guys so y'all can see how close I am putting those braids together So with the crochet cap, you have these nice little webs, as you can see, these little openings for you to crochet your needle through. Try to only crochet through one of these little webs. Don't try to crochet like three, four at a time. Like try to do just one at a time. It'll help with keeping the hair in there without it, you know, kind of like stretching apart because I only do one knot in between these. So only grab one little webby thing in order to crochet your hair through. For the second row, it is gonna go slightly above the first row that we just finished. And it is going, the braids that I am installing are going to fall in between the braids on the first row, that bottom row. So they're gonna create like this waterfall where when the braids are down, they're gonna fill in those gaps in between because there's a braid above it to fill in that hole from the bottom row's gap. If that's explaining it the best way I can. But as you can see, I'm going slightly above it and I the next row that I do is just going to go in between those gaps. So we're not crocheting the hair all on top of each other, kind of filling in gaps, yeah. 
I, I, I hope that makes sense. This is definitely one of those trust the process videos. Just trust the process. So I know it looks a little janky right now, but just, just give me a minute, give me a minute to finesse it real quick. All right, so I want to kind of have a natural hairline using this crochet cap. There's no lace on the front half of the crochet cap. It wouldn't really make much sense to have lace on the front. It's just a lace part. So I am doing one single row in the front of my head. I'm going in with this gel. Absolutely love this gel. It helps so much with braiding and gripping, like love it. So I go in, use it as my part to get my parts nice and clean and pristine. And then I'm going to go in and start braiding my hair into single braids. And this is the only part that we're going to be braiding. The rest of that stuff, it, I'll either twist it up, but it is going to go into a wig cap once I am finished. I'm crocheting individual goddess braids to the front hairline just to give it that individual look. Now it's time to clean up this part. Like I said, this part was so difficult. So I added a little bit of makeup and I'm gonna go into further details after the reveal. All right, y'all, so this is the finished wig. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a minute to kind of get this to work um, the way I wanted it to because I just, I was not feeling it at first. I have done these before, but I always have a hard time getting the part to kind of work with me because they make it so wide. I think that's probably the biggest uh, like con for me with this uh, crochet wig is that the lace part is just so wide so I did have to go in with some uh, temptation and this is in the darkest brown I probably should have went with a black I usually use this on my natural hair um, around my edges whenever my edges look really really thin I'll like kind of go in with uh, this spray to help with it so what I did is I just took like a little like pointy nice stick or whatever and I go lay it right over the part and I just spray it and this kind of gives the illusion of making the part look a little bit smaller of course if we do a deep dive into this wig you will see it but I mean nobody should be all up in your grill like where I have my camera at right now is pretty much the distance that I allow anyone at this close to me I do want to go into the details on this hair so the hair is 14 inches long I received it off of Amazon I got a total 
I got a total of eight packets of hair. So 14 inches, eight packets of hair, and it was uh, less than $40 for all of uh, the, the hair. It came with a crochet needle and some rubber bands were included in the package. I have what, one uh, pack left and a couple of strands from another pack, but pretty much one pack left. It came with about 12 strands in each little bundle. So plenty of hair. I definitely didn't feel like I had to like stretch the hair too much to get it to work. I mean, hell, I have a whole nother packet left. So if I do wanna like fill it in just a little bit more, that would work too. Um, I probably added maybe, uh, you know, six or seven, I think eight, I did eight. Uh, individuals right here in the front of my hair to kind of like give the illusion of that like natural looking hairline because the, there's no like real hairline with the crochet lace cap literally took me like 20 minutes to make the wig which is why I love doing these kind of wigs because they're really so easy and take like minimum skill definitely a good buy for me go out and get this this is like the cutest freaking hair and thank you guys for joining us on a another tutorial here on my channel i greatly appreciate you if you stuck it out to the entire tutorial we will see y'all on a, another one be blessed and be safe